Kelly, lay it all on the floor and stomp on it like grapes. That was I, exactly what my plan was, word for word. So this story is, uh, you know, it's called a little piece of fan fiction because I'm a fan of Josh's work and this is really his world. So this piece oh. of erotica stars what I would call the unwitting hero of our current campaign. <laughs> um, the character I play, Smegma Glans, uh, which for, for new viewers just joining us is, uh, it's an Atlant traditional Atlantean name, meaning calm, blessed one. Mm. Should I do a voice for it or just my voice? I think you have to uh, do a voice for it. The voice, yeah. Yeah. What's what's like an erotic audiobook voice? Sort of like a like a husky, oh, like a David Attenborough. Meant... Oh. David Attenborough. Does he nice. read a lot of erotic audiobooks? I mean, you have to look really hard to find them, but they're out there. Ooh. Um, I was thinking your character voice. Yeah, you know what? Oh, that's such a it's such an unsexy voice, though. It's very. What? I'm just gonna. Don't... I'm. I'm gonna go. Say that about your voice that you made for Smegma Glance. He's a pretty awful character. Um, e but uh, no. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna draft <laughs> completely off the board here, and I'm gonna go with sort of a weird, like, mid Atlantic or transatlantic thing. Trans. And Smegma Glance leaned laconically over the side of the boat. He had a casual look about him, a sort of effortless veneer that he spent years honing. The captain was barking at him over his shoulder. Something about maritime safety, his boat, his rules. It was at least the fourth or fifth time Smegma had heard this lecture and was taking in none of it. It was the sea that called to him, or rather, it was the promise of what was rumored to lurk just below the surface of the waves. In contrast to the gruff, disheveled, almost cartoonishly stereotypical sea captain, Smegma stood out starkly. He was handsome, yes. Almost generically so, sort of an Atlantean Josh Hartnett, if you will. Or an Atlantean Andrew Garfield for you whippersnappers out there. Andrew Gar Andrew But it Garfield. was his style that really sold his look. He was as norm core as they came, always wearing the trendiest mainstream streetwear. Diesel jeans, possibly H&M shirts. Definitely a bunch of recognizable brands that I would know if I had been in a mall in the past decade. Smegma chose his moment carefully. He had watched the old man's patterns all day, rigging masts, battening hatches, swabbing decks. He knew exactly when the crusty mariner would be below decks and hurriedly vaulted himself overboard before he could second-guess himself or lose his nerve. He hoped to Poseidon this was indeed the right place. Is he and still wearing jeans and a button-up? Ooh, yeah, ouch. Oh, the character? Yeah. Oh, God, I'm also doing that. Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Good to know. Smegma yeah. Glands does not wear utilitarian clothing for anything. Excellent. He hoped to Poseidon this was indeed the right place, and to his relief, as soon as he had passed the point of no return over the railing, he began to hear her song. We began Almost to as chafing. if by instinct, he began swimming the moment he hit the water. He didn't know where he was going, but he felt himself pulled there. Before he knew it, he sat on a sandbar before the siren calling to him. She was more beautiful than he even imagined. Even the most deranged, feet-focused subreddits could not compare to what he now saw, planted in the sand, holding up the kind of legs a 50s pinup could only dream of. And the scales, oh, the scales from waist to head, the absolute platonic form of the top half of a fish. He stepped forward, boldly, but still gently. He took in her nude form, noting the only scrap of coverage, hiding any part of her body. The smallest tiniest tuft of seaweed just large enough to cover the naughtiest bits down below his eyes darted from it to her own fish eyes back to the kelp he cleared his throat to offer his best line <clears throat> you know i'm on the seaweed diet that's it that's the whole thank god 